guys, this is Constantine, the thrifty backpacker, and today I'm checking in new La Santa Shram. We have no idea where Santa is. It's Mumbai, India, and the place is just opposite the police station hard to find so there are no signs just a rupam store and we need to go there so there's a small shop and we keep on going here we go I'm not staying there. We're really going there. And let's check the stairs. We're gonna go up to the fourth floor or even the fifth floor. Here we go. can see pretty authentic walls and this is the reception area we gotta wait for the check check-in I left my stuff here and uh, I'm gonna go to the balcony so this is a shrine because this place is uh, pretty much spiritual and we go out to the lounge so we can feel the vibe of an Indian place it's Saturday so the streets are not very busy you can see that this has been the hotel since 1947 it's insane but everything looks old as if it's really that old this is the police station there and this is a busy street of Mumbai. So this is a huge balcony and we have rooms and the kitchen on the right. These are uh, dorms. I'm not staying in such a dorm. I'm gonna have a very small private room. Interesting lamps also a kitchen area where you can store some stuff in the fridge the fridge looks as old as hell it's working it's not very cold in there but it's working the freezer is working too it's good for us there's a small desk right here and a stove which broke down last time but this time I hope it's working and some kitchen utensils and dishes this place is a little bit ventilated by this fence but no AC of course there's also this part where you can get some hopefully clean cups and a pretty much uh, traditional sink where you can wash the dishes this is actually the only place where you wash it looks like that this is the bathroom that we have here the sink where all these people spit in the morning <laughs> and don't let you sleep okay so there's this traditional bathroom and you don't even have this hose here, just, yeah, pretty much traditional. 
and the same is here. So you have to use this bucket to take a shower with cold water. Pretty much authentic. And the view to Mumbai, to the real city, just the way it is. Now it's time for the toilets. They clean them every day, but this is what they look like. Let's take the last one. As traditional as hell. And uh, there is some bidet here, and that's all. That's all. There used to be a lot of mold. I think they got rid of that, that's good. It really did, because it used to be mold everywhere. Maybe there is still some on the second floor, I gotta take a look. Mold, 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 mold. Yeah, no mold anymore, no mold. Yeah, the second floor looks pretty much amazing. Very, very good condition. It's definitely gotten better. There is some free drinking water. And it's fine. And also more showers here. Also a traditional shower. Some nice view. And the mirror. I like this lights here. They're amazing. Got myself a towel, which is very good. Wow, it's unbelievable. They really did clean this mold. I think it's just because the roof was leaking during the rain. I'm gonna show you the picture of what it looked like in October. I just wish uh, the Wi-Fi signal was better. There's no signal on the upper flow and it's not that good at the reception area. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it isn't. I like the view. And we are on the street. And I think it might not be as busy as usual during the working days. But I'm gonna show you the craziness as much as I can. Because a little bit that way along the street, there is the Crawford Market, one of the busiest markets here in this busiest cities of the world. It's called the Crawford Market. There we go. Very, very busy. The streets are so busy, so full of this kiosks that you have to go and just literally stay on the road. And everything is happening on every square meter. So many people. There's some cars, some elderly people, young people, scooters. Sometimes there are cows as well. I hope I'll be able to. Yeah? Yeah? Hi, hi. How much? How much? <laughs> no, no, no. No, I'm a blogger. Okay. Yeah, look at that. This is India. Like, real India. And I'm just staying here. Very close. And this building, old building here, is the Crawford Market. But I think outside this building, it's even more crowded. I don't know if it's possible to cross the street here, but you know how it works in India? You just walk. I'm too scared to cross the road here, but I'll try. Everything is for the content, guys. Everything is for the content. Let's see if I can enter the market. It's like crazy. Boom. India, I love you. Let's enter the market a little bit. So here it's pretty peaceful, lots of fruits. And uh, let's see if I can enter. Yeah, here it's pretty peaceful. Uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm just gonna film a little bit. For vegetables, for the spices. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you. So, it looks like this. There are lots of rows here, and uh, every time you need to buy, you go to a different stall 
for me it's too crazy. I prefer to buy stuff on the internet. But it's really, really authentic. Hi there. Really, really authentic. Lots of fruits. Look at this crazy lamp right here. Already trying to sell me spices. Let's take a look at the spices. Okay. This all the organic stuff. Okay, okay, let's take a look. This is where uh, they sell tea and a lot of spices, right? Green curry, etc. etc. So some advertising for you guys. <laughs> okay, I was able to get away. So it's absolutely tactic for me. Too crazy, too crazy. But I think it's possible to get some good deals here. Uh, but you need to bargain and you need to be ready to bargain. And if you do that, you'll be good. Across this busy street. Sorry guys, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'm becoming professional uh, at crossing the streets. Okay, you just gotta walk and be respectful. Showing with your hand that you're walking and you're good. You won't have to wait for a long time. Yeah, going back to the hostel to keep on working. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, stroll. And if I have time, I might be able to show you a nice uh, vegan cafe not real nearby. Uh, trying to sell something. Some clothes, some stuff here, some guns, toy guns. And, uh, let's walk that way this time. A lot of electronics, electronic stores with the lamps, flowers. Stores are like this with lamps. I don't know why lamps are so popular here. It's cars and every time you have to go somewhere to let people drive, but I don't want to. So many stores with the lamps, they're just everywhere, literally. I don't know why these cars take this road, it's so busy. Another store with uh, lamps, they really like the light. And this is my room, by the way. So, here we go. We have a bed, we have a desk, and we have a mirror. What could be better? There is a fan, which is working pretty well. And this magnificent lamp with a hanger. Uh, there are two electrical outlets here, which work for, I guess, almost any kind of outlet. And there are also two outlets here with the lights, with another light and uh, a chair, so I can't complain. These walls are pretty old, 1948 baby. And this wall is very thin and there, there is a, another person, neighbor. So right now there might not be anyone in, in there, but you can pretty much hear what's happening there and they can hear you as well. All right, uh, getting some water. Uh, come on, I need some water. God bless me. That's what dorms look like. Well, at least there are no bunk beds. Some fresh juice mixed, zero point eight dollars. No sugar, no ice. Looks pretty cool at night. Already getting not so busy at night. It used to be very busy during the day. Uh, I like this kind of flight at night. This night vibe. Alright guys, just gonna check out right now and I can say that this place is a little bit special for me. It was the place where I stayed before I became a blogger. So this is the first place that I reviewed but, uh, once I visited for the second time. And uh, I was able to come back, I'd say the location is perfect here. And uh, the place itself is really authentic, although some people find it a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, some things, but the staff is really nice. They do their job really well. They 
try to make it as clean as possible and as good as possible. So I totally recommend you stay in this place uh, at least for one night uh, just to feel the vibe and the environment. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to this channel to see more interesting videos about hostels and cheap activities and accommodation around the world. And see you guys later. Bye.